The masculine and the feminine are essential to German language, but now the debate over gender-neutral language and inclusivity is a major culture war issue in Germany. Basically, um, both sides are very rigid in what they think, and there's no real progress to be made on anything. In recent years, this issue has become incredibly politicized and is dominating conversations across academia and daily life. Leonie Lange is the head of the Queer Students Association at Ludwig Maximilian University in Munich. It's being discussed quite a lot at the moment, and um, a lot of people have very strong feelings about it. In Germany, this debate is further complicated by grammar. One of the first things that you learn about the German language is that it has three genders, masculine, feminine and neuter. All nouns fall into one of these three genders, and that's true even if they don't refer to people or animals. There are a number of alternatives to using gendered grammar. You can just phrase things different without then using the generic masculine form, but also without needing to use an asterisk. But even people that understand and use more gender-neutral German find it complicated at times. In general, it's a good idea, but um, how it's being translated into actual use is maybe a bit difficult. I personally think it's uh, important and it also helps us to be more inclusive, but also more accurate in our language. But I also fully understand that it's a process. Traditionalists argue that this debate is about preserving the language, yet it is very politicized. Wanting to preserve the language and making it more accessible for um, non-native speakers are kind of valid points, but I feel like they're straw men. This debate extends beyond Germany. Kate Hengis is a member of the trans and non-binary students of George Washington University. At least within my present day life in English, I really like to use gender neutral pronouns across the board, um, but with German it's C, which can obviously be connected to C in the other way, which is um, the German word for she. So it's kind of, it's definitely a bit different and there's no, to me at least it seems like so far there's no way of really saying they without having a sort of gendered connotation. As the German language continues to evolve, advocates of gender inclusive language are optimistic that societies will move beyond the politics of this issue and accept these changes in order to be more inclusive and accommodating to all people. For Washington Metro News, I'm Baxter Wareham.